Hey guys, welcome back. In the past, we've made American flag bracelets in both a fishtail weave and a trilobite weave, and we wanted to try something different this year. So we're going to be making the American flag quiver bracelet. I'm not sure who first came up with the quiver design. Um, I did some looking around and wasn't able to find it. If you know who it was, let us know in the comments and we'll add it to the description. Let's dive right in. So for this bracelet, you'll need between five to eight feet of each of these colors, uh, the red, the blue, and the white. I like to play it safe, and so I'm just gonna start with 10 feet. The actual length you need depends on your wrist size and kind of where you do that divide between the, the blue and then the red and white stripes. So to start out with, we want to make the center of our bracelet out of the blue. So we're just gonna fold that in half. And then we wanna leave a little bit of a loop in this end. We're gonna make a knot and loop closure. So this will be the loop end, and then we'll make a diamond knot in the other end with our other colors. Um, so lay that out on your table, and then we want to get our red and white ready to go. For our red and white, we're going to meld those two together using the lighter, and this should be the only time in this bracelet that we need to melt two quarks together. All right, and then we'll get started with a simple cobra pattern just to lock those cords in place. So I'm gonna do red on top. So we've got our center blue cords, putting the red over the top, white down and around. And then you wanna hide that meld mark wherever you can. I like to make it so it's not showing on the bottom either, but sometimes that's easier said than done. And we'll complete our square knot with one speck the other way. Now we're ready to jump into the quiver weave. We'll adjust our hole to be just big enough to put a diamond knot through. About like that. If your finger can fit through, it's probably about the right size. Okay, so I'm gonna begin by putting our white across the top. We've got a red stripe here, so we want to alternate. So the quiver weave goes like this. Taking one side, go over the first cord, underneath the second, then actually over that third, your other weave strand, and pull that through. And then we're gonna bring up the cord through this hole right here. that and then down across that next center strand underneath the next one and then up through that last hole so up through there so when you're done before you tighten it down it should look like this you haven't done much with your red cord at this point. The white cord is just going over, under, over, under, and then turning around and doing the same thing back. So to tighten this down, you want to tighten one direction first and then pull the cord back through the other way. You want to make sure that your center cords, so in this case, the two blue and the red, stay straight. You don't want them bending with this weave. After that, we are just going to switch sides and start with our red. So now our white becomes the other center strand. And we're going to go over, under, over. Then my end here. Up through that hole right there. Down across the blue. Around the back of the other blue. And up through this hole. Again, you don't want your white or either of your blues to bend. You want all of the, you want the red to do all the work. So once you cinch it down, you have to hold on to your loop here so that it doesn't slide all the way through. But once you cinch it down, you should have a red and a white stripe. Just make sure that your cord is pulled through in all places. 
my loop right here is a little bit loose yet. So what I like about this design is that you kind of get these diagonals going too. So it's kind of a, a crisscross hatching all the way down. I think it looks really cool. If you're a fan of wide bracelets, you're definitely going to want to try this one out. I actually like this and I don't like most wide bracelets because this one is so flat. A lot of other wide bracelets are really chunky um, and they just kind of get in the way. But this one's a lot different. So we're going to keep on going with this pattern, the back and forth with white and red. And then once we get about two thirds to three quarters done with our bracelet, we're going to be switching colors to the blue. So that it kind of looks like a flag when you lay it out. Um, so just kind of divide your wrist measurement by three and do two of that unit, and then we'll be doing one, the last third, with the blue. So we got about two thirds of the bracelet done and we want to switch over to our blues on the outside now. So to make the change, I'm going to take each of our outside cords and just do a half hitch so that they end up in the middle. So this red one, bring over the neighboring blue and then up through that hole. And cinch it down like this. Now we've got our red on the inside. And I'll do the same with the white. Make that blue straight and the white goes over it. So tighten those down good and then we'll start with our blue. So with the blue you just have to make sure you remember which side you start with each time um, because you want to change it each time and you don't have differing colors to tell you which one you did last. With our blue, just like we did before, over, under, over, up through the loop, down across the white, behind the red, and up through this loop, like that. And then when we tighten this down, we want to start with the left next time. You want to cinch this knot down extra well, um, otherwise you'll end up with a tiny little gap in there, but it's pretty imperceptible when you tighten it down. So starting on our left, over, under, over. You know the drill by now. Once you've tightened that down, just keep going for the length that you need for your wrist. And once it is on your wrist and this matches up with the end of your loop, we'll make our diamond knot to finish it off. All right, once it's the length that you want it to be, or just a little bit short of that even, I'm gonna finish it off the same way we started with just one square knot. So using our blue this time. Do one on each side to make a full square knot. So we'll cut our blue and then do a diamond knot in the red and white. And I'm not gonna cover that in this video, we'll just speed through it, but I'll put a link down in the description if you don't know that knot yet. So there is our finished bracelet. I think it turned out pretty well. Like I said, this is a nice thin bracelet for how wide it is. I've actually never seen a different one that's this flat, that is this wide. I usually don't like the wide bracelets because they just end up so bulky, but this one is definitely different than that. So let's try it on. There we go. All ready for you to make one for the 4th of July. Again, if you know who made this quiver weave first, let us know down in the comments. I wasn't able to find that, um, so I hope you aren't mad at me if that was you. 
We'll put a link down in the description to where you can buy paracord and supplies for paracord crafting. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you in the next one.